to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. World ...and loses his soul. The mindset, the value system, the imagination of people hijacked by the power of darkness. So Satan does not mind whether you are Igbo. He does not mind whether you are Yoruba. He does not mind whether you are, you are Hausa. He does not mind whether you are an American, an European, an Asian. He knows that we all have the same mind. So he began to trace all across the earth what are the systems that speak to the mindset of people he found that culture has a way of helping to frame mindset so he became interested in culture what part of that content can i use to preserve continuity of a demonic mindset he found out that money seems to control loyalty people can bow to you when you have money so he went to the economy of the earth he's called the king of tyre he sits there on that mountain to make sure you never get blessed with your soul healthy. When you come to him and say, I want to prosper, I want my children to go to church, or I'm a man of God, I'm trusting that financial resources be made available for kingdom activities. Satan says, all that is nonsense. There is only one condition. Bow to me. I hope you know that Jesus rejected that proposal, but it is not only Jesus Satan has taken to that mountain. There are many others that he held their hands I want to become famous I want the whole world to know me and he says come there is a mountain where I show you the glories of the world if it's money you can have it anything you can have it the only thing I want from you is that you must pledge a covenant of allegiance that for as long as you enjoy these things your worship will be to me And Jesus said, get thee behind me. Thou shall worship the Lord and him alone shall thou serve. Now write this down, please. The Antichrist system, the Antichrist system is a system of civilization that is in total rebellion to the value system and the government of heaven. The Antichrist system is a value system or a system of civilization that is in total rebellion total rebellion to the government of heaven it is also a system that usurps the will and the dignity the will of men and the dignity of effective living the, the antichrist system will never allow the will of men to find expression no it works by subjugation and it is also a system that never allows for a dignified life you will never truly be under an antichrist system and have long-term dignified living what is the goal what is satan really looking for what motivates his passion to destroy men what motivates his passion to destroy nations what motivates his passion to destroy men of god to destroy business people to destroy politicians to use the tool of religion the tool of economy to use that the, all kinds of things what is his passion what is his motivation write this down what satan wants is total allegiance to him as the source and the sustainer of all things this is what he wants total worship 
and total allegiance to him as the source and sustainer of all things he fell down from heaven because of an agenda what was the agenda he wanted to run a parallel government satan did not want to dethrone god no he wanted to run a parallel government so that you can choose god or choose him it is still his strategy today every time satan comes and sees you in total allegiance to god he will come as an alternative please pay attention what we call crime what we call moral decadence what we call pain and hardship what we call terrorism what we call corruption are simply inventions that promote one and the same agenda they are different expressions of one and the same agenda to create a system that forcefully brings men all men christians non-christians from any race satan is interested in bringing everyone to a position where you worship him now as we began to advance and modernize as far as our civilization is concerned satan noted that there was something unique about economy now listen i hope you know money and economy is man's idea it's, it's not it's not a heavenly idea at all it's man's idea the idea of money transaction business is man's idea it's an invention a profitable one satan discovered that the greatest thing he can possess from a man to really be able to lord over him is time time he found out that every other thing he takes from man does not seem to produce that efficiency but there was one thing that if he can hijack is time that no matter who you are on earth real dominion is dominion over time if you do not have dominion over time you do not have dominion and satan found out that because our civilization please listen carefully our civilization is economically driven he found out that men are willing to give their time if they will get money so that with that money they will now have a means of exchange to solve their problems and meet their needs and satan said beautiful now i have found a strategy what is the strategy let me create a system that manipulates the economy of nations to make it unbearably difficult for men to be able to access the resources that provide for influence are we together that provide for sufficiency because once their needs are met i have found out that they are free and the moment they are free they will give their time to god so in egypt in egypt pharaoh began to oppress the people of god another pharaoh that did not know joseph but then they were giving them straw free of charge and then they would do the building the moment moses came to now propose their exodus the spirit of the antichrist walking through pharaoh got angry and said the remaining time you have is what you are using to serve god stop giving them straw use the remaining time to look for straw what did they tell moses leave that agenda we are willing to stay back don't punish us again so every time god sees a people calling upon the name of the lord father mother and children lifting the hands of jesus in worship and in praise and helping the nations to know him satan will come in economically then the man loses his job daddy let's pray don't talk to me again what is wrong with this man what is suddenly happening to the man he goes to the hospital you measure his bp and you find out that this man is getting sick are you seeing now trouble comes and the children now in an honest effort to help their father they say what can i do and satan says this is what i've been waiting for come to me i will show you what you can do to help your father by the time satan is done with them they will be in the middle of sodom and gomorrah remember lot settled near sodom he didn't enter sodom by the time abraham went to rescue him where did he find him why does a terrorist kidnap and demand ransom 
what does he want to do with the money what if he dies when someone amasses millions and billions in his account through corruption what does he want to do with it respectfully speaking what happens during election when people come and you find out that people seem to be bought over just with economic empowerment can i tell you this satan prefers a healthy church to a prosperous church he can allow you to have divine health a thousand times but not resources because he knows that with resources you will have dominion over time and the moment you have dominion over time you will have the time to bow your knees to the god of your salvation you can decide to set aside a day and say father mother and children today we are going to worship the lord when jesus was teaching and helping the people understand the kingdom an embarrassing situation happened there that is instructive the tribute collectors were sent to come and disrupt his program as soon as they got there they said jesus you claim you are teaching people but you've not paid your tax and jesus was in a very embarrassing situation and he said it's all right go and get the fish open the mouth take caesar's coin go and give it to him there is a message there anytime you are focusing on your spiritual growth and your love for god a stranger must visit you the tribute collectors satan knows that you will never have the time to concentrate loving and serving god for as long as your bills are not paid so the only way he disrupts your worship is that whilst you are focusing the tribute collector will come it will come as children's school fees it will come as rent issue it will come as health bills so jesus taught us the secret to finding peace make sure you have caesar's coin waiting while you are worshiping so that as soon as he comes you tell him don't distract me pick your coin and go here's how he put it give to caesar what belongs to caesar there are things that belong to caesar and even jesus respected it and then give to god what belongs to god are we together a system that was built by satan to make sure that all but especially believers are so subjugated to a point where they do not see value in serving god and there are all kinds of annexes of that expression in our society today this is the reason why crime corruption moral decadence all of these things continue to to rise geometrically and the government will keep doing their best the judicial system will keep doing their best is that true religious systems keep doing their best africa being a very religious continent and yet we may not seem to be making the kind of headway we should make there is a problem the problem is not the activities the problem is that we need to go back and re-examine carefully that we are immersed in a system it is largely a mind control system is that true it is an information that is godless then fortified by the presence of demon spirits we call it a stronghold a stronghold is a mindset is a belief system that has been fortified by the presence of demon spirits to keep the victim in that state are we blessed ideas so when you want to introduce look at jesus i love jesus jesus shows up and here's what he says ladies and gentlemen here is my message repent for the kingdom is at hand within your reach what is repent let's go to your mind i want to help you now but the first thing i need to do is not just to cast out satan salvation is coming but i need to work on you there is something about your understanding that keeps you in servitude there is something about your understanding that keeps you irresponsible a young man is not just irresponsible like that there is a programming that makes irresponsibility marketable there is a mindset a programming that makes cultism marketable 
there is a mindset that makes corruption marketable so when the kingdom system comes listen carefully the kingdom system does not just produce miracles signs and wonders falling down healings that's wonderful but primarily the kingdom advances on the strength of the message the ideology this is where the real power of the kingdom is is in the message not just the actions someone i can begin to pray now for the sick or pray for people who are oppressed and these demons will leave them because they honor the word of god that we're speaking but the demons will be waiting at the junction they know that the mind of that victim is still fruitful for their entry all they need to do is manipulate a system again and they are back in comfortably so the real way to transform believers from this demonic software that continues to plague our society please listen number one is the message of the gospel because we are dealing with two kingdoms here it's a spiritual issue the issue of salvation is not a religious advocacy it truly is the answer to man's decadence the life of jesus jesus is the answer for the world today above him there's no water jesus is the way jesus is the answer for the world today above him there's no other jesus is daniel chapter 3 we're now in a time in history where satan knows that his time is short he knows that we're in the end times. He knows that there is a global revival that is coming. Satan knows that like never before, God has released his power upon the earth. But Satan also knows that there is gross ignorance in the church as far as how the kingdom advances. We know how souls are saved, but we do not know how the kingdom advances within a territory and within a sphere. And a few people who try to bring these ideas are greatly persecuted. Do you know why? Because for as long as we just feel that once you are born again, that's all. Your whole attention should just be on your spiritual growth. That is true. But that cannot be the only strategy. Daniel chapter 3. Let me show you something. We're going to pray. This is Babylon. Under the leadership of this king called Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold. Please look up. Here we see the manifestation of the spirit of the Antichrist again. He will always bring an image to worship. The image can be money. The image can be fame. The image can be lost. The image can be anything. The king made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits. You know what this? 90 feet. And the breadth thereof six cubits. And set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of babylon we are reading pay attention nebuchadnezzar now watch this this is the whole theme of this scripture is worship the antichrist system worship not money not fame not even persecution worship but look at the structure of that worship before he built that image he made sure that every noble person was on his side look at those who were there Nebuchadnezzar the king sent together the princes, governors, captains. Are you seeing all those who he won? Judges, treasurers, counselors, sheriffs, rulers over provinces. These are the people who came to the dedication of that image. What do we call that? Influence. What else is left as far as authority in society is concerned? These are the mind control systems. He made sure they were all represented in that dedication. Again, princes, governors, captains, judges, treasurers. There you find it. Treasurers, counselors, sheriffs, rulers of the provinces come to the dedication of that image which the king has set up so when he sets up an image over a territory 
he does not disturb everybody yet he begins to scan where is that millionaire businessman come where is that gospel artist that has potentials to go around the world come when he gathers all the influencers he now builds the image watch this verse 3 and the princes governors captains judges treasurers counselors sheriffs rulers were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that nebuchadnezzar the king had set up they stood before the image uh-huh be patient then there was a cry to you is commanded not suggested commanded oh people see how the antichrist system works when it captures the nobles within a territory then decrees begin to come gradually gradually until it looks like it is something that is forceful it is commanded oh people nations and languages verse 5 that at the time you hear the sound of the cornet the flute the harp the psaltery and all of this you will do what fall down and worship the image smart king he did not say worship me but you just worship my image while i stand back and I enjoy the same thing you see that now satan may not come to you directly and say worship me you'll be too much and you you have enough sense so he will say do you know what just worship your job just worship your business provided it is not jesus christ worship any other thing you are allowed because any other thing that is not him i have power over it hmm. worship your certificate worship your political position worship your achievement worship your beauty worship your intelligence even worship your anointing oh yes worship your church worship your religious activities provided it is not jesus the son i'm satisfied any other thing i can put my image there I can put my image in your business i can put my image in your reputation i can put it anywhere the only thing see everything can be satan's image if it is minus jesus please keep the scripture we'll soon be praying hmm. fall down and worship the golden image that nebuchadnezzar the king had set up verse 6 and whoso does not fall down and worship shall the same hour be cast into the midst of burning fiery furnace why do you call the issue of finances economic meltdown what made it melt so therefore at that time when all the people had the sound and so on and so forth they fell down and worshipped all all of them when you see the people who inspire you falling down you will be motivated to join them and fall down too when the billionaire businessman who is your boss is worshiping and increasing in the billions while you are going to church and getting broke sooner or later your wife will say i don't understand this thing you are doing and initially you think he will not touch you until your child returns back from his school with the school fees they drive them away you say you know what god have tried for you anything you see me do don't blame me there is an exhaustion satan knows something about man that except you are engraced by god you cannot suffer long indefinitely there will be a breaking point so he will meet you at that point just when you graduated you were on fire from fellowship on campus oh why don't you you know just um join this club or join this group you will become a million ah no in the name of jesus he knows he will allow time he will meet you after five years and say are you still here and you say come what did you even say before let i will agree but just explain let me understand now give us that scripture hmm. verse 8 now wherefore at the time at at that time certain chaldeans came near and accuse the Jews now we are going to see a contrast of kingdoms verse 9 they speak and said to King Nebuchadnezzar O king live forever that's what the king wants thou hast made a decree that every man shall hear the sound of all of these instruments and shall fall down and worship you 11 whoso does not fall down 
and worship he should be cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace verse 12 now he says there are certain jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of babylon shadrach meshach abednego these men O king have not regarded thee they serve not thy gods nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up then nebuchadnezzar in his rage and fury commanded to bring these boys and they brought them before the king this is the price that you pay for being different in a territory that is immersed in a system that is godless nebuchadnezzar spake and said it is true O shadrach meshach and abednego do not ye serve my gods nor worship the golden image which i have set up 15. if you hear all of these things make sure he says listen he says if ye worship not ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of the burning fiery furnace and who is that god that shall deliver you out of my hands it has moved from the issue of worship to the issue of loyalty to god i love shadrach meshach abednego joshua selman answered the king and said unto him watch this O king when it has to do with matters of sociology and matters of governance we give you the respect that is due you but now that you have touched the issue of faith we are not careful to answer you in this matter 17 it says if it be so let me tell you that we are a people number one who are motivated by our love for god greater than result are you seeing the contrast of the kingdom life in the kingdom of darkness you are motivated by things ultimately to bow to satan whether you like him or not in this kingdom it is the love of god more than money more than fame more than titles here are people who are not only about to lose their office and their reputation lose their lives and they say if it is on account of that we are more than ready our god whom we serve he is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of thy hand O king 18 he says but if not what sort of a people are these that's the first time the king is hearing that there are people who do not mind we will not serve thy gods nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up 19 then nebuchadnezzar was angry how many people have refused to be promoted because they know that once they are promoted there will be justice there will be equity how many people are you seeing the reason why many people don't do so much and yet they prosper and we sit down there saying they are prospering more than us no oh, do you know who and what they bow to satan was a witness when you were rolling in your living room that lord everything i have is yours then the next thing you just delve into oil and gas and the gods of the sea say you are joking we were there when we saw that worship you will not easily just win a contract like that if there was no adversary there will not be need for dominion please keep that scripture we're about to pray pay attention now he commanded notice are you seeing the first thing he did command the fire to be seven times hotter in their presence they are not yet inside but let them see the potential of the destruction that can come per adventure they will change verse 20 hmm. and he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind them what does it mean to bind to limit to limit them and cast them into the burning fiery furnace follow me carefully we're almost done then these men bound in their coats and so on and so forth they were cast into the fire verse 22 therefore because of the king's commandment because the king's commandment was urgent the furnace was exceedingly hot the flame of the fire slew even the men that took up shadrach meshach and abednego imagine such a furnace and this man they fell down into the midst of the fire why satan wanted let me tell you this there is nothing 
that rewards Satan more than punishing a dedicated believer in the presence of other potential believers because when they see the pain of one who loves God so much and things go bad it becomes it it amplifies the fear that's why when Satan wants to attack believers, he does not start with ordinary people. He looks for those who have some kind of influence and then he deals with them in a way that discredits God so much. This is the strategy. Next verse, verse 24. Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished. Now these ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the power of this kingdom that we represent. Isn't it amazing that when God is silent, it is a message. Satan continues to do what he's doing. But it gets to a time when you stand strong, where you stand hopeful, and know that this kingdom, whether you lift me or not, oh God, I will not bow. Ah. Lord, I will bow to you, to no other God. But you, Lord, Lord, I will worship you. Nothing hands and me, but you, Lord. And I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made. And all that has taken my heart Sing, Lord, I will bow I will bow to you To no other God But you, Lord Hear me, believers, I bring you a message No matter who you are The strength of your allegiance to this kingdom will be tested in your lifetime i give you a guarantee by the god of heaven this one you will not pray it away you will only pray for grace to remain and see god show himself strong and mighty some of you as i'm speaking right now that is the season you are in it is on account of your strength for god you would have gotten a job five years ago if only you compromise but because you are standing you are now even looking like a fool family members are saying keep being stupid then they coin a scripture and say wisdom is profitable to direct is it christianity we will eat they will tell you and you feel stupid for loving him there are many people who have lost election today who have the credibility but because they made up their minds that they would do it right sometimes being right comes with a price just because you are right does not always mean you will experience temporal victory don't be ashamed of your tears let me show you scripture here if we do not train believers to know that there is a system that attempts to sabotage our allegiance to God we must get to a point where we restore honor to those who are in pains on account of their dignity for God. Can I tell you this? There are people that have died today simply because they will not renounce Christ. There are people today who may not be experiencing the kind of growth, maybe ministry, because they will not go somewhere and get any other power outside of Jesus Christ and say Lord Jesus if you will not heal I rather stay and say I do not have the grace but my hand will not touch any charm or anything to make sure anybody is healed can I tell you this the ways of the kingdom looks deceptfully slow everybody will seem to go ahead of you you are a man of God and God wants to raise you to be a mighty man and somebody calls you some group and tells you look you do ministry this way you are going to suffer it doesn't have to be an occultic thing just anything that takes you away from Jesus and it looks marketable there is a strategy that can increase membership for you the worst one now 
is the issue of finance and comfort because the truth is we live in times you know for a long time the church has been shying away from this i'm not talking about some of these carnal things you see around money mm, but i'm talking about if we ignore the place i taught in zaria and maybe i'll wrap up with it there, there are four dimensions to the gospel that if we do not teach believers one spirituality two leadership and governance three relationships for economy if believers are not empowered with these dimensions of spiritual knowledge they will remain slaves forever in any territory they find themselves in when you die you will go to heaven no? but as far as earth is concerned you will be a servant a slave forever spirituality men who love jesus sincerely not just as preachers not just as preachers i'll be here bowing down all of the days of my life i'll be here bowing down all of the days of my life i'll be here worshiping all of the days of my life i'll be here worshiping all of the days of my life five years after marriage no child very soon your family will call you and say look there is a man he's not exactly bad there's just something that we are used to it, it all of us that's how you even came self and yet in your visions the interesting thing is that while satan is doing all this nonsense you will go back to bed and see that god will not change what he has been saying your womb will carry a prophet be careful be careful be careful and all kinds of suggestions are coming from everywhere satan is building that image my brothers and my sisters let me tell you this many times you feel stupid when you look around and it looks like you are not moving forward sometimes respectfully speaking loved ones and people who are sincere can look at you and say look at this you graduated 20 years ago till now you have not even built a house the only thing growing in your life is your age look at your classmate he's even in dubai he's everywhere there and sometimes you say lord is this your plan for me When Jesus was on that cross you would have called him defeated but something was happening that you did not see he hung between the nails and while he was hanging Caesar Herod and co were saying finally and Satan was rejoicing since you will not bow I will hang you on a tree either ways you will have to listen to me and he closed his eyes in death hell was rejoicing we killed the son of god suddenly a stranger steps into hades the place of the dead what are you doing here and he says when sinners die where do they go i became sin now i'm here and the cohorts of hell were all on him how else would he tell us that he is victorious until we we have to see it in a context and that was the context satan and the cohorts of hell paul was shown this in a revelation fighting to force him now to bow down and when the legal claims of justice were made the bible says he made a public show of them watch this triumphing over them in judgment he now meets face to face with the one he created and say lucifer your rebellion give me the keys this is the kingdom we are part of revelation chapter one i was he that was dead and now is alive 
and I have the keys. That's where he got it from. Watch this. When he held that key, he went to Hades. Apostle Peter taught us. He preached to the saints. Right? Who had been waiting for this miracle of salvation. They died in faith believing. And when they believed, he opened those prisons. And he said, let's go. The hymn writer says, up from the grave he arose. When he came out, he came out together with all those people. Watch this now. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. And he destroyed death. And with power and glory, the disciples were shaking. You wasted our time. We were part of this system. Now you brought a new kingdom. We've lost everything. We look like failures. But when he resurrected, he said, all hail. He entered the room without opening the door. He's showing you the potentials of this kingdom. That means, look, I used to think doors have to open for you to enter. But I learned that there is still a way. The door can still be closed and you will enter. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline